Hi everyone, welcome to the second video of the Prompt Builder for Developers video series. In this episode, you will learn how to round your prompt templates with data so that the LLM's response is accurate and on point. My name is Alba Rivas and I am a developer advocate. Let's get into this. But first, if you have missed any episodes of this series, you can watch it entirely on this link. Prompt templates can be securely grounded using data that is not part of the initial LLM training data. This gives the model much more context and improves the accuracy of its responses. You round prompt templates by using data providers like merge fields, related lists, flow, or apex. When executing a prompt template, the data providers are resolved using any of the template inputs to compute a text. That text is added to the final prompt before it is sent to the LLM. The simplest way to include data from the inputs in the prompt is to use the merge fields and related lists data providers. You simply select the input from which you want to incorporate data and then select the desired fields or related lists. Note that merge fields also allow you to add data from your input's parent objects. And what if you would like to incorporate data from Data Cloud? That's possible thanks to Data Cloud Enrichment. With this feature, you can incorporate fields and related lists from contact or lead coming from Data Cloud. Safe Harbor incorporating data from DMOs and data graphs is being developed and will be available soon. Next, you can ground a prompt template with flow. To do so, you will need to create a template triggered prompt flow that is bound to the template capability so that the specific template inputs are available in the flow. Once the flow is created, you can reference the template inputs as follows. Then, once you compute the data to be added to the template, you use a new element called add prompt instructions to add text to the template. You can use it as many ways as you need to as it is additive. Finally, in the templates for which this flow was activated, you will be able to see and use the flow. And finally, you can round prompt templates with Apex. For rounding a template with Apex, you will need to create an invocable method and assign it to a capability type. The same as we did in Flow, but with code. Capability types can be the next ones. The invocable method's parameter must be of list request type. The request class defines an invocable variable member for each input defined by the prompt template. Refer back to the previous video to learn which inputs are used on each template type. The method needs to return an object of the list response type containing a prompt invocable variable. That variable will hold the data to be added to the prompt once the template is resolved. In the method, you can access the inputs defined in the request class and use them to compute data. Finally, you can craft the response, adding that data to the prompt variable of the response class. Once your Apex class is deployed to your OR, you will be able to use it in the Prompt Builder template types for which it was activated. 
Of course, with Flow and Apex, you have full flexibility and you can use data from the CRM, data cloud, or even external systems to compute the text that will round your prompt and be sent to the LLM. When to use Flow or Apex for rounding will depend on your preference for using clicks versus code, the complexity of the logic to implement, and the guidelines that your company has for no-code versus code tools usage. In this video, you have seen the different types of data providers that you can use to ground your prompt templates with data so the LLM produces accurate responses. In the next video, we will explore the different ways in which you can invoke prompt templates. You can try Prompt Builder for free by requesting a five-day trial org as part of the Quick Start Prompt Builder module on Trailhead, which is the first resource that I am listing here. On top of this, I leave you here some more videos and blogs that I think you will enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about more videos like this one. Thank you and hope to see you in the next video of the series. Bye.